Smilesville. Welcome, Keeper. Before you lies a happy and carefree realm. The local champion, Lord Antonius, holds the first portal gem you require. Learn how to construct a dungeon, and build up your forces so that you can crush Lord Antonius and wipe the smile from his Behold your dungeon heart. Protect it well. For if it is destroyed, you will be banished forever from this land. Here walks the goodly Lord Antonius. Tis he who holds the precious portal gem. But only when you've mustered strength sufficient should you challenge him and claim your prize. Lair. Hatchery. Well done. And now your faithful servant imps will carry back your gold to Dungeon Heart. Once here, it can be spent. The golden scale atop the screen keeps track of your reserves. A start indeed. But more gold is required. 12,000 units should be mine. A slap. To administer another, right-click on any of your creatures, then watch. They'll toil a little faster, but also suffer modest injury. Observe. Red flowers float above your imps. These give measure to their health, their skill acquired and reflect the simple thoughts within. Ah, you've picked a creature up. To drop him, right-click anywhere on your land. place where creatures feed on favored food. The eggs will hatch and chickens then emerge to satisfy their appetites. Excellent work, Keeper. You are ready to recruit more creatures to your cause. See? A portal near your dungeon heart to where your imps must dig. They'll claim this portal to be yours. You'll see what beasts emerge. The Lair. A place of rest where creatures sleep to calm their tempers and restore their health. built. Now right click to cancel building mode. Behold your portal, the gate through which new creatures enter your domain, drawn forth to use the rooms which you provide. Look well, a goblin has entered your domain. On his own he is a cowardly beast, but in a horde becomes a useful fighting force. Good progress, Keeper. See? 
Your goblins are well rested in their lair, and their bellies full with juicy chicken flesh. Now keep watch, for very soon more goblins will arrive, and then your numbers will be strong enough to challenge Lord Antonius. <laughs> I sense a breach. The servants of Antonius have broken through your walls, and you can move your gaze to see them now by right-clicking on the flashing blade. Well, not this time. For the only dwarves, who feeble as they are, pose little threat against your goblins. The hapless enemy dwarves are being crushed. Observe the white health flowers which appear above them when they're near to death you'll see that only one last petal shows. Game saved. Your goblin force is large enough to challenge Lord Antonius for his portal gem. Tunnel north and you will find your smug opponent skulking in his keep. Away, Keeper! You shall not taint Smilesville with your evil ways. He speaks. The feeble Lord Antonius. See how the petals of his white health flower are of a special shape. This marks him down as your prime target. Take him out. Bravo, Keeper. Lord Antonius is fallen. The portal gem lies aside his helpless form. In wait for Horny to collect it so it's yours. And come he now. <laughs> Devise new spells in the library. The training room lets creatures improve their combat skills.
Well done, Keeper. You have successfully ended the life of Lord Antonius, and you have claimed your first portal gem as well. This is a most promising start. <laughs>